are serving in Seville, Spain, and we've been in Spain for 10 years, but we've been here in Seville for about two and a half years. The bulk of our ministry here in Spain is really just being involved in evangelism and discipleship. And in evangelism, we do relational evangelism. So we have different contacts through the schools and the parks, friends that we've made through local businesses, and we share the gospel with them through relationships that we have with them. And we're intentional about those relationships, and we invite people into our home, and we share the gospel with them that way. I'm the academic dean of Seville Theological Seminary. I like the vision that they have and the approach that they have. So we divided uh, our teaching into three different parts. We, we do teach uh, doctrine and teaching and you know there is reading and uh, that is important. Um, but we also teach spiritual development, um, Christian walk, um, Christian disciplines, uh, things to really develop your Christian character. And then the third part that we teach is the practical side of Christian ministry. So how to teach, how to preach, how to counsel. And uh, I think that kind of theological education is the best and, and will, will always be around in the church. We came to Spain because of all the Spanish-speaking countries in the world, Spain is the least evangelized. There's less than 1% of believers that make up the Spanish population. And it was different for both of us, but really when we looked at it, that was something that, that really impacted both of us. We thought we both spoke Spanish, and we thought if that's where the greatest need is in the Spanish-speaking world, that's where we want it to be. Uh, literally, we could not be over here without the faithful prayers and financial support of all of our supporters, individuals and churches and businesses. And our part in that is being in one town in Spain and sharing the gospel and teaching at a seminary and teaching in the church. And their part is to pray and to give and to visit us and encourage us, which we love all of that. I can honestly, truly say thank you for that. If someone was interested in missions, I would encourage them to learn a language, and that's probably not the first thing you might expect to hear, but most likely if you're going to go somewhere else, you're going to have to learn a language. And then I would say do an internship, and I mean like a minimum of six months. If you go somewhere and you stay there and you see those missionaries on the high moments, and you see those missionaries on the low moments, and you see them in the normal, everyday, boring moments, that's when you'll really get an idea of what life is like on the mission field, and I think that you'll understand whether or not God has called you to that.